Hello friends, this is Nurmal here for Technic and this is the detailed review of the Samsung Galaxy J7. So Samsung Galaxy J7 and J5 are mid-range phones announced by Samsung and we already did the review of uh, the J5 which was a decent uh, mid-range performer. Now the J7 now uh, also has a uh, slightly upgraded specs when compared to the J5 this has a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED HD display. It's powered by an Exynos Octa-Core uh, chipset with a 1.5 GB RAM and 16 GB internal storage. On the camera front this has the same uh, 13 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and a front facing 5 megapixel camera again with a flash. And it runs Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. This also has a 3000 mAh battery. So that is the spec aspect of uh, the Samsung Galaxy J7. Now moving on to the design and build quality. So design wise there is no change with respect to the J5. This device looks exactly similar to the J5 and a lot of other mid-range uh, Samsung devices. There isn't really any standout uh, aspect in this design. But overall uh, in the J7 uh, with the uh, golden variant which we have right now. The build quality seems much better than the J7, J5 with the white variant. So this uh, feels much better. The rear panel looks pretty good. Even though the design language isn't that good, it's a pretty uh, decent device uh, overall. Uh, although the design isn't anything standout, uh, it does look pretty good in hands. And you, you can also see that this has this uh, uh, home key and the capacity to back and uh, uh, a multitasking button. And you can see there is also front facing flash and uh, usual set of sensors. But one thing missing on this device is there is no ambient light sensor which is kind of disappointing. So overall in the build uh, build and design uh, aspect, we would say build quality is decent for this uh, mid-range phone, although not the best, but design could have been definitely better on the Samsung Galaxy J7. Now moving on to the display, this is one of the best aspects of this device. It has a 5.5 inch uh, 1280 by 720p HD Super AMOLED display and this is really one strong point of this device. The, uh, the Super AMOLED display is pretty vibrant, colorful, the touch response seems pretty good. Overall the viewing angles are also really good uh, and um, does give a great feel when using. So this is a pretty colorful and vibrant display and uh, that's uh, one great aspect of this device especially for gaming and if, you're, if you are using this device for a lot of um, uh, social networking act activities then uh, this device is pretty good. Overall display quality looks good. Only, diff only big issue being there is no ambient light sensor so if you are going outside you have to turn on this uh, option that's outdoor mode that's the only option available so overall uh, we're disappointed with the lack of ambient light sensor but overall the display looks pretty good now moving on to the software and performance so this runs android 5.1.1 lollipop and this has this touch with uh, ui on top of this so the touch with ui is uh, almost similar to what we saw on the j5 nothing much change it's a pretty good uh, ui although it's not really standout ui it does offer decent amount of features you can see this is a custom notification center with uh, almost 12 toggles you can even edit the notification center uh, and then uh, you also have a couple of interesting apps uh, this comes with tools and there is also a smart manager which allows you to manage the battery the storage uh, ram a device manager is also there so all in all this uh, is a pretty good uh, ui overall feature rich ui there is also support for themes you can uh, install uh, themes uh, and uh, other other customization options you can see there's a theme manager you can download themes from the theme store so a pretty handful of options available so overall this ui is a decent uh, uh, looking ui it's uh, performing ui now talking about the performance this device runs on an octa core chipset this is an exynos octa core chipset and the overall performance is pretty good this uh, this performance is pretty snappy no lag or issues uh, we did uh, gaming on this device the gaming performance was also say pretty good overall we would say the software core uh, uh, exynos chip chipset is pretty performing ui even though this has only 1.5 gigabyte ram overall performance seemed pretty good and smooth no major lag or issues even with heavy heavy usage we didn't experience any major lag or issues even slight uh, hiccups were there but then it's not a major issues but overall we would say the performance of this device was pretty good no major lags or issues and uh, overall uh, the gaming experience was also good the call quality again was really good this phone comes with dual sim card and 4g lte support so we can uh, use uh, 4g on this device uh, with the uh, great speeds we got uh, good speeds we have already done the 4g lte speed test you can uh, check out that uh, video so overall this device is a pretty good device so, uh, in terms of the overall performance the software is pretty good it's the latest software this has 16 gigs of internal storage and it's expandable again but uh, having said that uh, the storage is expandable but you cannot install apps directly onto the sd card but you can move apps to the sd card so that option is there 
and out of the 16 gigs of uh, storage around uh, um, uh, close to 12 gigs is available in the first boot pretty, which we see which we think is a pretty decent storage so that's the storage option and uh, you can see the settings menu is also pretty custom you have a uh, good amount of features included as well there is also a uh, easy mode in case uh, your phone is being used by elderly person that's also included then uh, you also have uh, the other options uh, the default uh, set of options available uh, you also have ultra power saving modes uh, the power saving modes are included in this device uh, that's pretty useful uh, if you want to get better uh, battery life that's the power saving modes are included in the smart manager app so this is the manager app you can see a power saving mode and ultra power saving mode which gets you more battery life so overall uh, the software and performance looks pretty good now talking about the camera so this device comes with a 13 megapixel rear camera and uh, LED flash along with the front facing 5 megapixel camera when we reviewed the J5 with the same camera we said that the camera was just average not really the best and would not beat the Moto G third generation in terms of the overall quality now with uh, Samsung Galaxy J7 it's not really the same case with the change of processor uh, this does have, have an effect on the overall camera performance and uh, the camera uh, works pretty well uh, and it's uh, comparable to what we saw on uh, 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 this Moto G third generation you can see the interface uh, does have uh, lots of options you can record videos in full HD there is 13 megapixel rear camera good set of options uh, there, there are different modes as well there is professional mode to uh, take photos uh, uh, with your own settings so overall it looks pretty good there is HDR beauty face uh, good amount of features overall now talking about the camera samples so here are some of the camera samples and overall we would say this is pretty decent device in the mid-range category this does compete with uh, the Moto G third generation and also the Lumia 640XL which also has the 13 megapixel rear camera. So overall uh, the camera performance uh, uh, is pretty good and we would say this is one good mid-range phone with the above average camera performance uh, in the sub 15k price point. So that is the camera performance. The front facing camera also is pretty good. It has a uh, LED flash. Uh, you can use it for uh, low light selfie that's again uh, a selfie focused smartphone so again uh, the the, uh, the flashlight in the front facing camera is pretty helpful for taking good selfies so that's one advantage with this device now talking about the battery performance so this device comes with a 3000 milliampere battery and the battery performance uh, was pretty good uh, we did uh, test this battery performance and you can say uh, we can say that uh, the battery was uh, pretty good overall performance we could get uh, at least one day of usage with heavy usage and more than a day with average usage so that should be pretty good enough for a uh, smartphone with a 3000 milliampere battery and a 5.5 inch hd device hd display so overall we would say the battery performance was pretty good on this device and uh, we would say this device does have the capacity to carry forward for more than a day if you are average user so that was the battery performance now we are done now uh, with uh, almost all aspects of this device so this device is priced 14999 and available exclusively on snapdeal so is it uh, worth a buy uh, now considering the pricing uh, if you compare with the competition like uh, the asus zenfone 2 laser which is priced uh, uh, 999 uh, we have the lenovo k3 node with an octa core chipset price again 999 we also have the moto g third generation at 12999 so considering that aspect the pricing is slightly higher almost 3k higher than uh, what we see on other other mid-range phones you also have the mi 4i which has a better display and uh, overall uh, uh, better specs uh, and that is priced just 12999 so uh, in this price point this device does look uh, a slightly overpriced but then what you get uh, from uh, buying the Samsung Galaxy J7 you get the Samsung uh, sales and warranty that's really important Samsung has a great network of sales and warranty so you don't have to worry about your after sale service uh, unlike the online uh, brands which do not really have a proper service center so that's one advantage secondly it's a really good performing uh, uh, device the octaco chipset really performs very well it has an above average camera decent battery life very good display the super AMOLED display really shines so if you're uh, not really concerned about the pricing uh, and you really want a samsung device then the samsung galaxy j7 is a better buy than the samsung galaxy j5 now if you are not really uh, into uh, pricing of 15k you are you're short of funds then uh, probably the moto g third generation 12999 is a better choice and it also has a stock android so that's the detailed review of the Samsung Galaxy J7. So hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.